like to say hello to you guys, uh, hello to all my new subscribers and good hello to all my fellow subscribers uh, that have been following my dream and my passion. I um, had a lot of people ask me about my station, uh, stations seem to be the hot topic at the moment so I thought I would cover an update on some of the things I do and the things I make so I thought it would be just a good thing to show you. I've got a couple of new engines. Um, these model shops keep doing sales so it was a uh, take advantage why I can so I'll explain that to you in a minute you can see them going around uh, so we'll, we'll cut to the chase and we'll get on with it let's, uh, let's go to the station I should be fading out about now uh, building your platforms you may ask yourself where do I start well yes we all ask that same question my advice is to research your build looking at archive footage and as many pictures as you can for inspiration I too was lost but we all have to start somewhere for my platform I used ideas of North Acton station and incorporated a canopy theme from Oxford station and all was to follow through with the BR era and the NSE branding. Downham Market Station in Norfolk is a great starting point for any new build or platform projects. The station has just been revamped and repainted to its original BR red and NSE branding. Now approaching platform three is the 1953. Okay, this is our little station. Um, as you can see, um, we got our little benches. The little benches you can see. These but I were made out of the leftover plastic card that I had when I made the pallets. If you remember, if you look back on my previous videos, you'll see there were some pallets I made and it was using this plastic card. Uh, very thin, I think it's about 40 thou. So I had a lot left and instead of throwing it in the bin, I thought it would be good to make some benches. Uh, I've seen some videos of BR times in the 80s where they used to paint their benches all, all red. Um, I'm not too sure if they were completely red in the middle, but ones I've seen are, whether that was actually prototypical, I don't know. So if you guys uh, have any thoughts on that, please let me know, because I don't know whether to paint the middle bits black or just leave them red. Um, some of you might have seen some other footage that I haven't. So, But um, I've gone with it, so that's quite cool. And I've got my little lamp posts, which uh, is there. Okay, so if you look at the canopy, this is a uh, dapole kit um, that I've actually glued together in sections. This is the other canopy, and you can see this also lifts off so I can get to anything. So if anything falls over, I can get to it quite easily, move something over without anything being in the way. So that was the idea of that. I think it's a good idea. Um, a little bit of soldering to do there, but that's not a problem. That goes on there, fits in there, and I've actually made it so I can lift the whole thing off uh, and get to underneath. So I can I can paint it, detail it, and then I can get to all the LEDs, which are little SMDs LEDs underneath uh, that run on this copper wire all the way through there so if I want to move something turn something around I can without actually and a horn on cue <laughs> so there we go that was the idea of having these so I could switch them around and still get to my station without any problems so uh, I think I featured that in one of my other videos but I thought I'd show it in detail if you look in front of the uh, WES engine just here You'll see there is a little mirror that you used to get on the station edge. Um, these are just some uh, little plastic mirror bits I found in, in the rubbish that are just cut down to little squares and just glued to a post. Um, that again, they're very prototypical of BR era. You used to have a mirror looking down the back of the train uh, to see um, what was coming, what was going, if everybody was on board. 
there is another one as you can see on the edge of the platform so um, you'd have them on pretty much each platform and they're just little little sticks with a little bit of plastic card and a little uh, mirror that I've added to it Okay, if you look onto the um, side of the platform, you'll see some litter and you'll see some beer cans, like someone's had a party there and left all there. Let's put it that way. It makes make you look like he's had a good day at work. Um, I make the newspapers, I make all the little tins, uh, the line side rubbish, I make that all myself. And uh, if anybody wants some, um, I sell it on eBay, which is a link on the video now. Uh, you can buy a pack and you get three red cans and three blue cans and uh, I think assortment of four newspapers um, and I'll get them sent to you for free, free delivery so um, I think it adds great detail it was very pre um, 1980s of BR area there was a lot of rubbish down the railway lines so I thought it'd just be a good thing to add I haven't gone overboard but just add little bits so that's uh, adding detail An MPV, or for the likes of you and me, a multi-purpose vehicle. These were built in 1998 through to 2012 by Windhoff in Germany and were based on the Cargo Sprinter. Originally, these entered service in 1999 with 32 double units and 18 single units. Railtrack ordered 25 units to replace their very collection of aging departmental vehicles, many of which were converted redundant passenger stock and some are still in use today. A vehicle normally consists with one power unit with a whopping twin 355 horsepower rail pack diesel engine that is semi coupled to an unpowered slave unit. Both have a loading flatbed and can house modules from 10 foot to 20 foot and confirmed to the ISO container standards. Um, you can see this one here is my original MPV uh, network rail and then this is the one I've just recently bought which is a rail track. Now this one here, um, the reason why I bought this originally because this one was far too expensive at the time but a year on it's now half price. Um, I've now got that for just about 60 quid uh, which is about 150 quid original price. 
124 pound 150 quid something like that so uh it makes a nice little collection i've now got two of them uh in two different liveries so i'm quite happy with that but I, something i thought was very interesting was to cover the detail on each one um basically this car is this car here um even though it's one and that's that is number one number one so these two are the same but you will notice um some of the detailing is different on each one so that's uh and you can see a little yellow sticker's not on there so uh it's like health and safety kicked in a little bit more um and a few more stickers went aboard these things you know in real t in real life that if that's what they've copied um but you can see this car here um it's different this was here and then that's missing off there you've got the little space there a cargo hold or something ballast hold or something um, I think that's quite unique and I quite like the difference in the two um, I actually thought they were going to be exactly the same and I was going to run that one onto this one and this one onto that one so I had a network rail and a rail track as a set so I had two sets but I'm now just going to keep them as two different liveries um, so I do like them as two class 98s as they are um, yeah, I'd quite like them, and um, I added this little purchase to this one, which is the rail track baluster, uh, and this one's got the generator on the back, and um, let's just zoom in on that. Again, I uh, paid a bit of a price for that one, but it's uh, a nice detail, and I think it looks smart. It will actually go on this one eventually. I just haven't got the couplings on because I've only just got this out of the box. So, uh, so yeah, that will run with that. At the moment, it's with this this one. Um, but yeah, they look nice going around the track. They're real smooth runners. They're good fun. Um, they're great little trains, really. Um, for sixty quid, which I got this for, um, brilliant price. Um, but I'm happy with that, and that's uh, definitely something that I'm going to keep running around and part one up. So you can go and just see the detail, I'll just scan down as I just said. A little bit of detail is different in each one, slightly different in some way. But I think you'll agree, um, they're a nice little set and I'm uh, quite impressed with them. And a horn on cue. <laughs> Get it every time we do a video. So there you go, there is our MPVs, I think I just said that, but there we go. Well guys, that's all I've got for you today. Um, just as a quick update, brief sort of what's going, what we're doing. Um, just want to say a big thank you to you guys for still following me. And I know I haven't had so many videos uh, and I run two jobs and I'm, I'm obviously trying to be dad and fit the family life in. So it is hard sometimes to keep these videos and trying to do the thing that I love, which is building the railway, let alone doing the video, to, video and an editing. But um, aside all that, I, I, I like to share these things. Uh, and I'd like to say a big thank you to you guys for, for following me. Um, Graham, David, David Hulworth, uh, Brad Fulston, um, uh, there's so many names, uh, Network Rail, uh, Old Boy Steaming, Tony, um, oh, Caverton Film, um, Mr. Deltic 15, uh, Dan Laurie, been speaking to you, um, uh, Ron at 2448 Toyman, um, I love watching your, you've got American videos, I love watching your, your trains, um, uh, so yeah, it's uh, something different, uh, my friend Mark in Canada, um, so I, I hope you're alright, I haven't seen you for a while, um, Rob Farrell, uh, Barnabas Junction, Stuart, at Barnard, um, you guys all got great projects on the go. Um, see me on the move. Um, I love all them kind of things. You guys video trains at stations, trains going through, um, and that gives us the build technology to add to our railways. So uh, I don't think they get enough credit, you guys. So um, I follow much lots of trains whizzing through stations, and it's it's sometimes the little details you pick up, and I think that's very interesting. It's not always about the modelling, it's about the real life that we're built to. Um, so very interesting that one. Um, I have hundreds, Peter Shaw, um, 
Simon Liverton, hope you're all right. Um, um, trains in the attic, uh, Yorkshire Mail. Um, I have to do it this way, I've got so many subscribers and I watch all your videos. Um, uh, British Rail 60062, um, Dad Rail, Dave Cooper, very special welcome to you. Dave Class 47, um, loving what you're doing, got some great projects. Uh, DCC 125, uh, Dudley Central, Ed Shunt, um, poor, running in the G's. <laughs> And the list goes on. Jerry Allen, um, my friend from Down Under, um, he's been doing some stuff. Uh, I'd like to say big hello to you. Uh, keep your keep your videos going. Uh, I'm going to do a couple more. Um, uh, uh, New Junction, Paul Marriott, uh, Penny Hill Junction. Uh, he's been doing a new project, so. Uh, 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 Rossi, he's been doing sidings and a little, a little mini layout, which is uh, evolving very well. Um, talk about on the pressure on the moment of this. Uh, Steve Smith, uh, love your railway, it's amazing, mate. All your engine sheds and stuff. Uh, one more, I think we'll do a random pick on this one. So, um, Bob Ross. <laughs> Hello, Bob Ross. Um, it's painting. Um, I think I think we'll do it. Um, we love Everard Junction. He's rebuilding, um, and uh, Greg Hale down in Australia. Uh, another one I've been chatting to a lot. Of you guys, there's many, many more that I respond to and I talk to. So a uh, big shout to everybody um, that subscribes and follows in uh, to the passion that we we all love. So anyway, take care till next time. Happy modelling and. Um, I'm going to go and get a cup of tea and some bourbon biscuits because I love bourbon biscuits. Uh, I have no trains on queue. So, uh, till, till soon. Uh, I've got a live stream that I'm trying to get up and running, but uh, it's, we don't get a lot of internet down here, so it's it's a bit hard to do. But another project I'm working on. So, I've got lots of things I want to do. Um, it's just time and it's just trying to get these things pulled together. So, please have faith. We will get them in the end and uh, we'll have some great footage for you very very soon. Take care you guys, catch you later. Cheerio.